Chris. Thanks for being here this week. Another week of strong performance in the muni market uh, yields uh, moving down almost uh, 15 plus basis points across the 10 and 30 year curves. What did you see? What was driving that? Yeah, so I still think the market is still transitioning into 2023. We haven't seen a ton of supply come into the market, but that calendar is building in out months. So with that lack of supply, I think the focus was on the secondary and people were trying to um, get as many bonds as they could in the secondary market. So as you mentioned, yields were down lower across the curve uh, and much of the secondary activity on the customer side. The customer side buy activity was average, I would say, but the preference definitely was for longer dated maturities. Uh, interestingly, we did see uh, the first week in uh, the, the largest inflows in more than a year to municipal bond mutual funds. The retail sector does seem to be uh, getting comfortable with these higher yield levels uh, and coming back into the market. Uh, this week, as you said, uh, overall volume in the market was relatively light, but uh, in the BAM target market, uh, we were uh, had a fairly strong week, uh, almost $300 million of new issues. Did anything stand out to you from that uh, universe? Yeah, I mean, to start out the new year in a, in a relatively... Uh, slow market. It was great to see our activity. I mean, there was a good mix of negotiated and competitive sales this week. Um, a couple of things to highlight there. We saw the Mishawaka, Indiana deal is a double A minus deal with Stiefel Nicholas. Uh, that was a negotiated transaction. And then we saw a large county in Minnesota, Itasca County, Minnesota, sell competitively. You don't see that kind of size come in Minnesota all that often. And that was a $24 million deal Again, that was a competitive sale purchased by Raymond James. So we had a nice flow up and down uh, across the country. So it was, it was good to see this this early in the year. Also a pair of uh, Texas school districts, uh, the Reagan County ISD and the Leonard ISD, uh, 33 uh, million for Reagan County, 30 million for Leonard ISD. Uh, Texas investment in school districts uh, in, in, in K-12 education continues to be uh, one of the strongest areas of uh, in infrastructure investment across the country. And so seeing them come into the market is, uh, is a trend we're expecting to see more of this week year. Right. Um, looking ahead to next week, uh, I think it's almost ten billion dollars at the top line uh, market wide for volume. Uh, what What are you watching for next week? Right. So we have a holiday shortened week, obviously because of the MLK holiday on Monday. Um, the The calendar is relatively robust relative to historical um, of, at this time. There are six transactions in excess of five hundred million. There are a couple of natural gas transactions that are out there. Um, for BAM, we're expecting a, a good week as well. A uh, number of impactful transactions to help our, our cause for the week. There's a $128 million Hazelwood, Missouri deal. Uh, that's a negotiated sale with Stiefel. And there's also a $73 million Blackhawk uh, Community College deal in Illinois um, that's pricing competitive, uh, negotiated as well. So strong week for, uh, for especially for it being holiday shortened. Great, Chris. Uh, thanks for your time today. We encourage everybody watching to uh, stay tuned on BAM's social media channels as we move forward. Some of the more interesting transactions that are being underwritten uh, by our uh, analysts will be highlighted in Credit Insights videos. So uh, stay tuned and uh, we'll see you back here next week. Thanks, Mike.